All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another repair video. This time I'm working on my Korg micro Korg. As you can see here, we got two bad keys and six out of 15 buttons are not working. So I'm going to take this thing apart and just clean it up and... Um, Put some graphite paint onto the key key buttons and put some conductor cleaner slash lubricant onto the program buttons. So I'm going to take this thing apart and do all that. Let's go. Alright, so this music is made with this keyboard after having fixed it up. I'm pairing it with my new Akai MPC standalone sampler. Um, I'm trying to fix up my old gear and cut back on some of the subscriptions that I have, like Pro Tools for instance. I love Pro Tools, but it's pretty expensive and um, Reaper is a great software it seems like so far I'm just kind of figuring it out learning what's good and bad about it and um, that's an old software that uh, we used to use for capturing audio like capturing multi-track audio with Dante and uh, stuff like that back when I was doing live sound and it was really reliable for that and there's tons of tutorials online about how to use it so um, I'm just getting into it and testing it out so far so good um, I have a few little complaints it's hard to beat the audio engine um, that Pro Tools has but um, it's also hard to beat the price of Reaper um, it's free or by donation so um, yeah that's that's pretty attractive and I just um, think that like using free software is just a great thing to do not to mention it's a really easy commitment because it's free So yeah, lots of cool sounds on this high-speed video, but um, I'm choosing to play my jams instead of going down the rabbit hole of all the awesome high-speed sounds. It's really freaky, like all the low-end low, low end stuff that you can't hear normally when you speed up audio. I might do a, um, a little research project on that with my microphone devices and just listen to the sounds of my environment here okay so here we go with the main event I got my glasses on my reading glasses and I am painting up these little rubber buttons to make sure that their conductive surfaces are plenty conductive in the last video, I did a very sloppy job of painting these. I'm trying to do a little more tidy of a job here. And um, I think I did a much tidier job this time. I haven't had any problems so far. Um, whereas, a little update on the last repair I did, which was the Akai Key Station 25, one of the keys has gone bad since I repaired it and I'm pretty sure it's because a chunk of this paint fell off the rubber and is short-circuiting the MIDI note. Um, but I can't be sure until I take it apart and have a look. 
Um, so that's something to keep in mind while you're doing this. Apply as little of this paint as you can, but make sure to get the surfaces completely covered.
so the last part here is putting it back together and I gotta say this was the most difficult part for me to get this board back in with all of the buttons aligned properly it took me about three times assembling it and disassembling it to get it right um, you can tell with the buttons if they're not protruding high enough from the surface of the plastic and the metal, um, then the, the board is bending somehow, like they should be nice and flat and level. And this brings us back to what I was saying before about this thing being pretty flimsy without that metal top on it. Um, but also you can't fit the board in with a metal top in place because, um, of the way it, it slides in so that has to be put on afterwards so you just kind of got to wiggle it in and hold it into place while you get your first couple of screws in to fasten it down and finish the lineup and then um, you can get the rest of the screws in and then finally at the end you can put the metal top on which serves as the backbone So I think that pretty much covers it and I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of this little 17 minute jam that I made for this video. If you made it this far, um, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I hope it's helpful to you. I hope you can fix all your broken gear and exercise that creative outlet 